Reality check man from your device, you know, you know it's a unique one, aromatic realistic TV. Anyway, today my viewers and subscribers. I am sending this message to the opposition leader, Mark Golden of the People's National Party and the hierarchy of the PNP. I hope this message don't fall on deaf ears. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness. The people of Jamaica not trust him again. The people of Jamaica have no faith in him. Their only hopes right now is Mark Golden. The only way Andrew Olness and the Jamaica Labour Party can win a next election unless and they steal it. And Andrew Olness is doing everything to steal the upcoming general election. On the 26th of February, 2024, at the night of the local government election, when Cliff Hughes called it in favor of the PMP National Party, all of a sudden, there was glitches. And the first in our history, where the Prime Minister come out and declare that the Jamaica Labour Party won the election. So I'm coming from a place of concern. And the place of concern where I'm coming from regarding the ECJ in the office of the Prime Minister. The Electoral Commission of Jamaica is in the office of the Prime Minister. And it is not just my concern. My viewers and subscribers on my platform who leave hundreds of messages in my comment and who I talk to personally on a daily basis are worried. Are worried. Jamaica, I am going to explain to you why my viewers and subscribers are worried i am going to explain to you the people who me and them talk on a daily basis is worried i will explain so i just want you guys to listen now why are they worried jamaica i am going to use three simple analogy and the first one for instantly Take a look at the NHT, the National Housing Trust. The Prime Minister take out 650 million and gain friend for go build house. NHT did not receive those house. And the Prime Minister went to court and them signed a disclosure where the taxpayers of Jamaica can know what went down. Let's talk about NEPA. And when we say NEPA, we are talking about the National Environment and Planning Agency. And the Prime Minister take NEPA also and put in his office. And the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister's wife is now benefiting from NEPA. Because NEPA tell you where you can build and where you cannot build. And the Prime Minister's wife get a permit for Bill 70 apartment. And she over 130 right now. Just think about it, my viewers and subscribers. The wife of the Prime Minister get a permit for Bill 70 apartment. And it is over 130 apartment right now. Because NEPA, National Environment and Planning Agency, who's supposed to oversight and stop those things, is in the office of the Prime Minister. Let us look on the OUR, 
the Office of the Utility Regulation. Who's supposed to protect the consumer, protect the poor people of Jamaica? When Beryl struck and disaster mash up Jamaica and JPS come out and say them go and give an estimate bill. The OUR come out on behalf of the JPS and slap the Jamaican people in their face. Remember, you know, the Office of the Utility Regulation was set up to protect the consumer, to protect the poor people of Jamaica when JPS want to monopoly. And the Prime Minister take the OUR and put in the Office of the Prime Minister. And who the OUR rule in favor of when the Jamaican people back were against the wall. No have no current and JPS send them out estimate bill and the OUR take the side of JPS. I'm just saying. Look at all these agency. Look at the political ambushman. And look at the Electoral Commission of Jamaica. All of those branches and agencies were independent of the government. The government have no Latin part with them. Then run them one show until Andrew Olness come on board and put all of those agency and department under his office. The question, the question, if Andrew Olness was not going to benefit from the ECJ, the Electoral Commission of Jamaica, would Andrew Olness put it in his office? That is the question. NHT in an Andrew Olness office. Andrew Olness take out 650 million and game friend. Nepa is now in an Andrew Olness office. Andrew Olness making wife violate the building code and the build apartment all over the place. The OUR that was set up to protect the consumer. From these big criminal who the OUR turn out in favor of the other day. JPS. So the question, <laughs> the question, why would Andrew Olness put the electoral commission in his office if Andrew Olness knows that he now got benefit from it? Remember in you know, Jamaica, the Electoral Commission of Jamaica was always an independent branch of the government. Was always an independent branch of the government. The political ambushman was always an independent branch from the government. So if the government put the political ambushman in my office and put the electoral commission in my office the prime minister of jamaica know that he's going to benefit from both of them because if he weren't he would not put them in his office just like when benefit from nht just like when benefit from the ouhar just like when benefit from nepa jamaica it's simple if the Prime Minister name go benefit from the ECJ, the Electoral Commission in an office, he wouldn't put it in there. If he name go benefit from the political ambushman, he wouldn't put them in an office. Just like when he put all these other agencies in his office and benefiting from them, that's the same thing the Prime Minister is doing. All these branches was supposed to be independent from the government of Jamaica and then take them and put them in an office. The people of Jamaica lose trust 
and not have no faith in Andrew Holness anymore. The people of Jamaica lose trust and have no faith in Andrew Holness anymore. The electorate don't want to see Andrew Holness. The electorate don't want to see Andrew Holness. So the only thing Andrew Holness then can do is steal the next general election. My viewers and subscribers, I am sending this message to Mark Golden and the hierarchy of the People's National Party. So on the 26th of February 2024, Andrew Holness stick up our democracy and come out and declare himself winner. My viewers and subscribers at home and who are living in the diaspora abroad, that was a test run for Andrew Holness and he was successful of it. And the 26th of February 2024, at the night of the local government election, when Andrew Holness stick up our democracy, and declare himself winner. It was a test run for the general election. And Andrew Holness was successful at it. Mark Golden and the PMP. At that night. You said. We no go look into it. And we no hear nothing. From that. So I'm hoping. That one of you guys press conference. Uno will shed some light on it and make the Jamaican people them know what is going on. Because as I said to you, I am coming from a place of concern regarding the electoral commission of Jamaica in the prime minister office. And I make it be clear to you, Mr. Golin, say it is not just my concern. But all my viewers and subscribers on Aromatic Realistic Platform who leave several hundred of messages in my comment and the people who I talk to on a daily basis, they are worried. And the reason why they are worried is for the same reason. The NHT, the Prime Minister Thief, 650 million and give him friend. NEPA, the National Environment and Planning Agency, the Prime Minister making wife violate the building code them because the Prime Minister of NEPA in him office. The OUR, the Office of Utility Regulation that was set up under P.J. Patterson to protect the consumer from people like JPS. If you notice when Beryl struck and the Jamaican people are in that disaster and have no current, the JPS say what? Me go give them estimate bill. And the OUR rule in favor of JPS. So the question we are asked, if Andrew Holness ne no say him go benefit from the electoral commission in him office. If Andrew Holness nay no say, he go benefit from the political ambushment in him office. Talk through Jamaica. Would Andrew Holness put the, the ECJ and the political ambushment in his office? These are some serious questions. These are some serious questions. And the people are worried the people are worried and why they are worried and Holness using test run on the 26th of february at the night of the local government election declare himself winner and he was successful at it on a take sleep and mark that mr golden and the PMP hierarchy, we need to hear something about the ECJ in the Prime Minister's office.
Because the only way the Prime Minister and the Jamaica Labour Party can win the upcoming general election is by stealing it. And one of the reasons that they can do so is when they have the Electoral Commission of Jamaica in the Prime Minister's office. Mr. Golden, you need to do something about it. My viewers and subscribers and Jamaican is looking on to hear your response, sir. Stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic TV. Like and share and follow us over YouTube. Until then, we chat again. I continue to remind you guys that the signature word, Ah, to love. Ah, to love. Peace out, my people. Free the dumb, freedom, free the dumb, so that they can speak, yeah. This is Nature Edison Messi, yo. Make sure to tune in to her. It don't know, say, yo. Aromatic, realistic TV. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Nature Edison said that. Do it. She was the most time.